Hello Yu-Gi-Tubers, this is Supreme Dragon, one half of Hidden Dragon. Coming at you today with a Mermail deck profile. Don't forget, like the subscribe buttons are down below. And please do leave a comment, what do you think of my Mermail deck profile? So, start things off, we've got three Mermail Abysteus, kind of makes everything run. Uh, ditch one Water Monster Special Summit, get your searches off uh, for another level four lower Mermail. Next we run two Marmel Abyss Megalo. Uh, discard two Water Monsters, Special Summon it. Search for an Abyss Sphere. Uh, then we just run, or you contribute one Water Monster and have it attack twice. Next we run just the one Marmel Abyss Lead. I like it at one because it's 2700 and requires you to discard three Water Monsters to Special Summon it. If you do, you get to add one Spell or Trap, uh, add one uh, Marmel Abyss, tra Abyss Trap card from your graveyard back to your hand. It's a good way to recycle your Abyss Spheres if you had to use them all early or or accidentally got them all MST'd. So next we run three copies of Mermel Abyss Guns and she is now back at three. When she is discarded to the graveyard, you get to special summon one Mermel from your graveyard other than this card. Uh, I'm running two sheep tokens as the third, second and third guns till they come in the mail. But I want to go ahead and do the profile. Next you run three Mermel Abyss Lindy. When she is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you should get to special summon one Mermel from your deck. Typically, you're going to grab Sleed if you haven't already, or Megalo, or one of your level 4s, just depending on what the situation is. Speaking of our level 4s, we run two Mermel Abyss Pike. When this card is normal summon or special summon, you can discard one water monster to the graveyard and add one level 3 or lower water monster from your deck to your hand. Very good card. Very, combos very well with uh, Gund, uh, Dragoons, Pike, and not Pike, uh, Marksman, and Infantry. Speaking of Pike, we run one Mermel Abyss Pike, uh, the, or Turge, excuse me. So this way, whenever it is normal or special summon, we can discard one card and get one of our guns or uh, Deep Sea Diva or anything like that back to our hand. Uh, we run one title because that's all we're allowed to run. Uh, discard title, send one water to the graveyard, or banish two to special summon itself. Kind of holds with the whole uh, level 7 thing. Then we run three copies of Heavy Infantry. Uh, when this guy has normal summon, you can actually have a second normal summon of a Sea Serpent type monster. So you can go this, Diva, uh, Marksman, Synchro for uh, Gungnir. Or you can discard this card. For a water monster's effect and target one face up card on the field and destroy it. Very good to use against Cleefort since they're all face up. Uh, next, we run two, uh, only two marksmen because there's not a whole lot of face downs to hit unless you're facing uh, Burning Abyss, and even those are all chainable for the most part. So, not a whole lot to use with this guy right now. So, that's why he's only at two. Uh, only the one Dragoons, because that's all we're allowed to run. Discard it for a Water Monster's effect. Search out any Sea Serpent you want. Typically, you're going to go grab, or you're typically, I'm going to go grab Deep Sea Diva if it's not already in my hand. Uh, Deep Sea Diva, when she's a uh, normal summon, special summon a level 3 or lower Water Monster from your deck to the field. Oh, excuse me, Sea Serpent. Sea Serpent type monster. Not water, just Sea Serpent. Uh, run one Dragon Ice. This is very uh, good to use. If your opponent uh, special summons a monster, discard a water monster, special summon itself. Can also be activated by from the graveyard by discarding a water monster as well. Next we run one Debris Dragon. Uh, reason for the Debris Dragon is to go into Star Eater. Also helps off with some other Synchro plays, so it's really fun to run at one. Uh, one Level Eater. That's all you really need. Uh, helps with other synchro plays, level manipulation, that sort of thing. One glow up bulb because, you know, the plant engine is always fun to run. Uh, also helps with synchro plays. Makes a lot of quick plays, as you saw in my other video. Uh, how to summon Quasar with five cards. This card comes into play. And one effect Veller just to kind of negate for a little hand negation trap there. And also with synchro plays. That does it for our monster count. Now for our spells, we run three upstart goblins. Want to get to your combo pieces as soon as possible. Doesn't matter giving your opponent the extra thousand life points anymore. 
Uh, three copies of MST. Got to take care of that vanity's empty. Got to take care of that vanity's emptiness, and any other problematic uh, spelling trap cards on the field. Uh, the one one for one, like I said, it helps out with the synchro plays and gets certain pieces onto the field, off the field. Uh, one Raigeki to clear the field. One soul charge, just in case you know you need it. And our traps, the three abyss spheres. Activate it. Search out your abyss Lindy. And the turn, or your opponent's turn, they all go to the graveyard. Lindy gets her effect, and so forth. Okay, that does it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck. I run Formula Synchron, Hyper Librarian, Two Armades, Goyo, Gungnir, Stardust, Hot Red Dragon, also works as a uh, Raigeki if they're all in attack mode. Star Eater and Quasar. And for the Exceeds, Castell, Big Eye, Abyss Gaios, and Draco Sack with its numerous tokens. That does it for the extra deck. Now for the side deck, this is mostly my personal choices along with what I feel would be relevant for right now. But mostly it's just for fun starter stuff. Uh, Mulan Glacia, just one. Uh, when this is special summoned by having exactly five waters in graveyard, you get to basically mind crush two cards out of your opponent's hand. So that's very good, uh, keeping your opponent at a hand disadvantage. Uh, two Mobius works really well since this is water, plus they pop back row, so that takes care of a lot of your uh, problematic cards in the uh, Burning Abyss matchup. The second. Uh, Fek Veiler, also again for like the whole Burning Abyss matchup thing. The two Maxis to draw. Uh, double Dark Hole. That really throws a lot of people off running that and running two Dark Holes and the Raigeki. Uh, two Mind Crush, probably one of the best trap cards right now that you could run. Because there's a lot of adding to hand right now. Searching out things, so that would really hit Burning Abyss and uh, Clee Forts right now. Then you got your 3D Prisons, because Banishing Monsters is always fun. And finally, two Magic Cylinders. Because who doesn't like winning by just lowering your life points because they foolishly attack into it and not even realize it. So, that is my deck profile for Mermails. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Don't forget to leave a comment with what you think of the... Uh, or my mermail uh, deck profile and this is Supreme Dragon signing out